everybody, Viking here, and I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to set up your Elgato capture card so you can run a dual stream PC setup. And then I'm going to show you guys how to integrate that into your Streamlabs OBS system, same as regular OBS. You'd be able to follow along if you use the open broadcast software versus the Streamlabs. But I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so I can bring you more videos on how to set up the perfect stream. Let's jump into this. All right, so I'm using for this the Elgato HD 60S capture card. When you look at your capture card, no matter which one it is from Elgato, you're going to have an out port and you're gonna have an in port, and then you're gonna have the type C USB cable port. All we're gonna utilize is the in and the type C port, okay? We don't even need to touch the out port. You have two cables, one cable that it came with, the type C cable, and then your HDMI cable. All you guys are gonna do is just go ahead and plug those in to the out and the type c into the only port that you can actually put put it into and do that okay once you have these plugged in you're going to take your type c cable the other end is going to have a usb port you're going to plug that one directly into your streaming pc okay just use any any of your usb ports take the hdmi this hdmi cable is going to plug into your hdmi port in your gaming co computer into the graphics card once you have that we no longer need to touch this we're going to jump right into the software all right once you have it connected into your capture card and also into your computer what you want to do is you want to head over to elgato.com right hand side click on downloads and then you're going to select your product which is going to be your capture card whichever capture card select windows or mac and then what you want to do is I run 4K capture utility on the streaming PC. And then on the gaming PC, what you want to do is you want to do the game capture because this is going to download the sound that you need, the sound capture software with this as well. So gaming PC, streaming PC, that's how I run it. Or you can do streaming PC and gaming PC just with this game capture here. Okay, we need to make sure that we have our Streamlabs OBS downloaded on your gaming PC and you need to make sure you have your Streamlabs OBS downloaded on your streaming PC. You can run OBS on one and Streamlabs on the other or vice versa, it doesn't matter. But looking at the streaming PC, what we want to do first, this just right off the get go, what we want to do here is we want to find our 4K capture utility or if you just downloaded game capture, bring up the game capture. This is gonna look and bring up the capture of the gaming PC. So what we're seeing here on screen is the gaming PC. So we're gonna go back into Streamlabs. On your streaming PC, this is where you wanna put in all of your scenes, your live scene, your intro, your, your chatting, starting soon, ending, all that stuff. Run that off of your streaming PC. For this part, I just put a separate thing in called video editing since I'm recording this on the streaming PC. And then the streaming PC is just a simple display capture, right? So from here, what we're gonna do is we're starting fresh. We're gonna add a new scene. We're gonna hit a video capture device. We're gonna hit add source. And then we're gonna come down and find Oh, let's just do this hit video add a new source you can name it whatever you want to name it i named mine elgato gaming pc uh but what we want to do is we want to find this game capture hd 60s because that's the, the card i'm using to capture this when we click on that i like changing this to custom to make sure that it's at the 1920 by 1080 and then uh match the FPS output. We hit done, and now it shows on the screen, it shows uh, the gaming PC 
on that. So let's switch over to the gaming PC now and set up the gaming side. All right, now we're looking over at the gaming PC. So I'm gonna bring over my OBS or my Streamlabs OBS so you can see it. Once again, you're gonna make a single source or excuse me, a single scene on this left-hand side, make a single source of the game capture or display capture to capture your uh, your screen, right? So that if we just do game capture, capture, we can just go in here, add a source, hit game capture, and then now we're seeing the game capture on that. But what we wanna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close that really quick. What we wanna do here though, is once we have this set up in order for the game capture to actually be captured onto the streaming pc and go and capture the audio what we want to do is we want to right click we want to go down to projector and we want to create a source projector now i only have two screens on my gaming pc this is showing three displays if you don't know what you want to do is you want to back out you want to go into your display settings right click go to display settings and you can see there's three screens here we hit identify we see number one and number three these two are my uh gaming pc and number two is actually the elgato which is showing on the streaming pc so this is reading as a streaming pc so what we want to do is we want to project to screen number two. So we need to go back out here. We're going to right click, go down to projector, create output source, and we're going to click on project to number two. And that's going to bring that up, right? Okay. So the one other step we have to do is, and I'm going to pull this over to the side. And we're going to bring up a test video. Um, let's just bring up a YouTube and oh, look, Dr. Lupo is, is, yeah. is going. Okay. So you, you heard audio because I do have audio enabled, but I'm going to show you how to enable that audio onto your stream. What you want to do is you want to find on here. I got game capture. Okay, this downloaded the sound capture. So what we wanna do is we wanna open up the sound capture and it's gonna start off like this in the off position. The Elgato sound capture, this gets downloaded with the game capture HD. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna change this to PC gaming. Where you wanna hear your PC gameplay, you wanna make sure this is clicked on the HD60S if that's the one or your capture card that you're using. And then uh, you, the, basically the, the second one, you can leave it automatic or none. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and what this is going to do is this is going to, um, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to open this. And if we click on this, right I'm on the other side of the wall. I'm on ultra side. It's all been open. We can see ahead, the German. that the audio is being captured here. Inside tag. Now, okay. if we switch back so over to yeah. the streaming PC. We now see the audio for the streaming PC audio is linked on this side. And this will automatically be added in when you create the Elgato capture device. that's it that's all you guys got to do uh you did hear a little slight double audio because uh i did have two capture devices on the elgato capturing the sound if that does happen all you guys want to do is make sure that you have one single audio source this one was going as well down here and it was doubling the audio but that's it you can see streaming audio pc here my mic is here the stream Elgato Wave is uh, my wave link where you can add in any kind of music or any of that kind of stuff where you can control any background audio that you want. 
Good luck streaming. Good luck setting those things up. Hit like, subscribe, and then also check me live on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays. Come in and ask me any kind of questions you guys have. I'm happy to help anybody. Good luck streaming. Don't give up, and I'll catch all you guys later.